wound wound uh, discontinuity or break in the surface of the epithelium basically kya hai ki we can understand it like this uh, that that this is an uh, epithelium when any foreign body or any part of stimulus affects that epithelium and breaks its continuity so that it becomes like this so this area is called wound when the two edges are not approximated उनके बीच में गैप हो जाता है या वो वहाँ से वो ब्रेक हो जाती है उसको बोन बोलते हैं सो डिस डिसकंटिन्यूटी और ब्रेक इन द सरफेस ऑफ द एपिथिलियम नाउ टाइप्स ऑफ वूंड्स सो आइदर वूंड गेट कुड बी क्लोज और ओपन क्लोज वूंड मीन्स द इंजरी इज लाइक क्लोज वन लाइक एब्रेजन कंट्यूशन हिमाटोमा दीज थ्री दीज थ्री आर क्लोज वून ओपन वून लेसरेटेड पेनाट्रेटिंग वून क्रस्ड वून इनसाइज वून तो जस्ट नेम्स टू रीड देन अनदर क्लासीफिकेशन इज टाइडी एंड अनटाइडी वून नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट इज बींग यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम्स वून हीलिंग देर आर देर आर सेवरल कंपोनेंट्स इन वून हीलिंग सो वी विल स्टडी दैम वन बाय वन अकॉर्डिंग टू द फेजिस देर आर देर आर चीफ Uh, four phases in the wound healing first one is inflammatory phase second one is proliferative phase third one is remodeling phase and fourth is scar formation inflammatory phase uh, you can uh, memorize the initials from them like ips and after writing ips just place r at the third position so you can write it like ips and r so i for inflammation p proliferation remodeling and scar formation inflammatory phase is also called as lag phase proliferative phase is also called as collagen phase remodeling phase is called maturation phase so lag collagen and maturation like you can write iprs and like lcm and hcm in the math na no? lcm lag phase collagen phase and maturation phase so in this way you can uh, memorize in just one sentence i iprs lcm inflammatory phase proliferative phase remodeling phase scar formation lag phase collagen phase maturation phase now first phase that is inflammatory phase or also called as lag phase so inflammation uh, occurs due to chemical mediators released generally which is histamine so chemical mediators when it is released like histamine it it causes inflammation how it causes inflammation so first of all histamine releases from platelets mast cells or granulocyte from all these or any one of them or any one or any of the two uh, this uh, chemical mediators can be released so when these are released they lead to increased capillary permeability so when increased capillary permeability will be there so the interstitial fluids and uh, uh, and the intracellular fluids will transmigrate and will transudate transudation will happen and when transudation will ha- ha- happen so fluid will collect in the interstitium that will lead to edema so that's called inflammation phase Inflam- inflammation will occur at the wound site first of all now Within the 48 hours, that means two days, no, two days in under, uh, PMNs, polymorphous nu- nuclear lymphocytes or polymorphous neutrophils, they dominate this area. They come this a- to this area and work as a scavenger. Now, what what thing they scavenge? They scavenge dead and necrotic tissue from that side. So, at the side at the side of uh, like wound. They, the the tissue will be dead and they will undergo necrosis so they have to be moved out that work is done by polymorphous neutrophils pmns okay and they they come within 2 days means it from the day of injury from the day of wound creation up to 48 hours or 2 days they will come that place and will uh, scavenge dead and necrotic tissue 
So what was the inflammatory phase? It is also called lag phase. Chemical mediators are released. Histamine from platelet mast cells or granulocytes. Increased capillary permeability. Continuous, uh, sorry, edematous appearance. Within 48 hours, PMNs will come dominate and scale in dead and aggregate tissue. The first stage is over now. Second stage, is, which is called proliferative phase or collagen phase. It, uh, after 48 hours from third day onwards to fifth day, polymorphonucleosides are replaced by monocytes. Okay, polymorphonucleosides replaced by monocytes. After sixth day, fibroblasts will appear at the place, and this is the most important thing to remember. In the second, second, uh, like proliferative, like F, you can remember F, F for fibroblast. It will become easier for to mem you for uh, all of us to memorize proliferative F, F fibroblast. So fibroblast will appear. They will proliferate and will form protocollagen. They secrete and they make protocollagen. Protocollagen will form collagen. Now there is a reaction which is mediated by enzyme protocollagen hydroxylase. And one important thing in this in this reaction, oxygen, iron in its ferrous form, and ascorbic acids are used. So these so you can understand like iron supplements along with ascorbic acids are necessary for wound healing. This is the clinical point you can understand. So for any patient under in, in wound healing, supplement supplementation with iron and ascorbic acid will aid in wound healing and will speed up the process. Now another thing that happens during this phase is granulation tissue formation. So th this collagen which, which was formed, it undergoes fibroplasia and capillary budding occurs which is also called angiogenesis, new blood vessels will form uh, in, in in that area and this lead to, lead to ready appearance of that area and which is called granulation tissue formation so this uh, now this phase is uh, hence important phase which is characterized by again let's revise it proliferative phase or collagen phase proliferative phase 3 to 5th day per hoga 6th day per hoga 3 to 5th day PMNs will be replaced by monocytes 6 day ke baad fibroblasts a jayenge fibroblasts proliferate karke protocollagen after collagen then collagen this enzyme name what are the mediators used in this reaction then fibroplasia and angiogenesis occurs relation tissue formation occurs also this collagens will bind each other which is called collagen binding which is supplemented by proteoglycans it acts as cementing agent just like you take iron and add cement and then water so it will become a concrete wall just like this fiber which is collagen gel and fluid this will cause a new skin formation and relation tissue formation and eventually epithelialization is also occurring side by side so the important point to understand here is the new skin formation or epithelialization will start from the edges of the wound not from the center it will occur from the edges of the wound because cell migration occurs and cell multiplication occur at the edge cell migration at the edge and cell multiplication at the uh, edge is more rapid and more prominent this leads to epithelialization and it generally occurs within 48 hours okay so in second phase two to three words are important first proliferative f that means fibroblast activity and how this activity happens we have studied second activity is of uh, uh, epithelialization granulation tissue these things are important in this now third phase was remodeling phase which is also called maturation phase uh, IPRS IPRS inflammatory phase proliferative phase remodeling phase and scar formation LCM L for lag phase Thick M for maturation phase what was C here so <coughs> Uh, collagen phase okay so inflammatory phase so IPRS so we are moving to the third phase IPRS 
इन्फ्लेमेटरी फेज प्रोलिफरेटिव फेज रिमॉडलिंग फेज एंड स्कार फॉर्मेशन एल सी एम नाउ लेग फेज कॉलेजन फेज मेचुरेशन फेज नाउ मेचुरेशन फेज और रिमॉडलिंग फेज फोर डे इट स्टार्ट एंड फोर्टीन डेट इट एंड्स नाउ वट है इन दिस फेज रिमॉडलिंग अकर्स सो रिमॉडलिंग एम इम्पॉर्टेंट थी एम मीन एयर माइलो माइो फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट ओके सो स्पेशलाइज फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट दीज आर ओन दीज आर ओनली फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट ओनली डेट बिकम स्पेशलाइज एंड मोर फोकस्ड एंड विल बिकम माइ फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट एंड वाट डज माइ फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल से दिस इज अ पी पी ऑफ टिश्यू एंड हेयर वी हैव एनी वूड और इंजरी इट्स ड्रॉ इट इन अ बिग एरिया लाइक दिस सो वॉट दीज माइ फाइब्रो ब्लास्ट विल डू दे विल मूव पैरल टू द वूड एजिस दे विल स्टिक लाइक दिस टू द वूड एजिस एंड आफ्टर फ्यू डेज दे स्टार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग सो जस्ट इमेजिन actually these are not on the outside these are on the inner side of the wound like this so when they will contract this will lead to inner pulling of these skin skin uh, margins so this will become like this like this area will eventually reduce 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 and will becomes linear okay so this is called contraction of wound this is important process which is the third step is contraction of a wound so myofibroblast is do contraction of the wound important thing ठीक okay now wound contraction this is called wound contraction now there are several factors which can delay this contraction like on cot if if the patient is on corticosteroid or any radiations or any chemotherapy so these factors will uh, ready uh, delay the wound contraction step now last step phase of scar formation fibroplasia will occur वेस्कुलरिटी जो होगी वो कम हो जाएगी जिसको बोलेंगे डी वेस्कुलराइजेशन डी वेस्कुलराइजेशन एपिथीरियलाइजेशन विल स्टिल कंटिन्यू एंड रीमॉडलिंग ऑफ द कोलेजन विद सीसेटराइजेशन एंड स्कार फॉर्मेशन विल अकर तो दिस फेज जस्ट फ्यू पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर इन दिस फेज एक फेज स्कार फॉर्मेशन सिंस देर वॉज देर वॉज कोलेजन एंड फाइब्रो प्लास्ट सेल्स फॉर एक्टिविटी देयर सो इट विल कंटिन्यू दिस एक्टिविटी विल कंटिन्यू बट विल बी लेसर दैन द इनिशियल फेजिस vascularity will eventually reduce because new skin has to form there there and epithelialization will still continue remodeling of collagen with cicatrization and scar will finally form so here the healing wound healing will be completed this was the uh, wound healing in much easier way to understand and now how we will write if this question comes in our university exams first we will we will give the definition of the wound okay in one word no we then we we can classify the wound see see they, there are two classification i mentioned here one was closed wound and open wounds tidy and untidy wounds there is also a third classification like acute and chronic wounds just just to memorize only no wound healing steps inflammatory proliferative remodeling scar formation dead pneumonic iprs lcm and then different phases we studied okay